what's good, BT Gang, and we back with another bringer, man. Thank y'all so much for joining your boy again. I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sans. I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope y'all having a nice start to the new year, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, as always. Today, we're talking about a hype, hype fragrance. I think this one, like, fragrance of the year last year, 2023, that's how much everybody loves it, man. It comes to no surprise that it comes from JPG, John Paul Gaultier, and this is Lamal Elixir. Lamal Elixir. I know y'all probably like, why this dude got so many decants? Honestly, bro, like, with the size of my collection, I'm probably never going to go through a full bottle again. So I'm just, like, trying to be more... What is it? Uh, responsible, more realistic. And honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna finish this 10 mil decant, you know, considering the size of my collection. 10 mils is a lot. So I've been trying to go to the, the more, I guess, efficient route of getting decants. And it's cheaper too. I'm gonna keep it as cheaper and you can try out juice. But yeah, I really, really like this John Paul Gaultier Elixir. Let's go ahead and hop into the notes and we're gonna talk about what it actually smells like. All right, so with JPG Elixir, you get the lavender and mint, of course, which is from the original uh, JPG Lamal. And then we get that vanilla benzoin. And this is where things get a little bit different. In the base, we got some honey, tonka, and tobacco. So if you know Lamal Le Parfum, that is like a lavender Irish fragrance. So with this one, they kind of took the iris out and they added some sweet like gourmand philly like tobacco and uh honey which gives it like an almost i don't want to say gourmand but it's it's kind of it has an edible feel to it it's very very sweet compared to like a lamale parfum which is more like irisy and lavender give me dryer she vibes you know and, and that's kind of more mainstream in my opinion a lot more people are looking for the sweet tonka bean based fragrances but I think I think sweet fragrances are in right now, especially for both males and females. I know a lot of males used to not really mess with the sweet, but I think a lot of people are starting to get more into TikTok and the YouTube and the fragrances in general. And I think the main consensus is that you know females like sweet fragrances. So what's JPG going to do? They're known to be a loud, playful fragrance company. They're going to make something sweet that's alluring to the feminine nose, in my opinion. So yeah. This really does do that though. This smells great. It smells just like the Lamar Le Parfum, but it just has the added sweetness to it and the iris isn't there, but the lavender's still there. The honey, tobacco is obviously there, which gives it a sweet, sticky feel. But overall, it's really, really good. It smells really, really nice, man. Um, longevity on this, I say it's eight plus hours. This stuff is beast mode. CI is on the heavier side. Um, projections on the heavier side as well for the first like two hours, bro. You're gonna get great projection out of this, man. I was really, really impressed with the projection of this, especially coming from the La Mole Parfum, which is not, I mean, I, I see I give out seven hours out of it to stick into the skin, but if you know that DNA, it's not a huge projector. So I wasn't expecting this one to be, but man, I was surprised. I low key kind of oversprayed it the first time I wore it because I was using the same amount of sprays that I use with La Mole Parfum. But yeah, if you're looking for a performance, you're not gonna have any problems with this one, man, which is kind of a reason why I think it went 2023 fragrance of the year because it pretty much checks it off all boxes, man. Everything is pretty much darn near perfect on this fragrance. Uh, seasons, I would say fall, winter, of course, and early, early spring, which is really, really chilly, man. Other than that, I would say stay away from this. That tobacco and that honey makes this stuff kind of sticky, kind of cloying, but in, a, in the right situation, like winter and all that, it's gonna be perfect. Uh, I say you can wear this definitely daytime, but I think this can also excel in the nighttime. I think JPG really excels at the night in general. You see, look at Ultra Mall, you look at La Mole Parfum, you look at this one. What else? There's another one out there. Uh, I think Lebo, they got Lebo Le Parfum. I think that all of those in the evening time, the nighttime, they shine all in like very, very greatly, man. These things are playful, they're loud, they're um, they're just like they're they're fascinating. You know what I'm saying? Like you smell them out in the air, you're like, wow, that's nice. Like JPG has known to be that standout designer fragrance that can get you some of the best reactions from people <clears throat> out here, man. Speaking of reactions, I have not gotten any compliments from this. And I, I haven't worn this in like a nightclub setting or a social setting. I've just worn it to work like moderately. So sometimes that's not gonna be the best situation to get compliments. But I promise you, I have a feeling if I wore this out like to a social event, a dinner, or a club, a bar, a tobacco lounge, all that good stuff, I think this would do a number, bro, because it's sweet, it's masculine, it has that tobacco in it, has that sweet honey, has that clean, fresh lavender and that mint, tonka. The notes in this are almost like 
like the Powerpuff Girls. Like it's all the perfect ingredients for like the perfect situation, man, to get noticed and get a good reaction from people. So if you into good, if you into getting good reactions from people, I would say that this should get good reactions. But I'm just letting you know, I have not gotten any. But this definitely should get you some good reactions, man. John Paul Gaultier Elixir is just it's. It's really good stuff. And I went into this, I tried to block out all the hype because I know everybody was talking about this left and right, man. And I have to say, it, it, it's the hype is real. The hype is definitely real, man. I'm gonna have to give this fragrance a 9.5 out of 10, bro. A 9.5 out of 10. I took out the 0.5 just simply because the versatility isn't there as far as, you know, be, being able to wear this, you know, all year round. I feel like a perfect 10 fragrance is, is something that you can wear every single season. That's that's kind of what I partake in my reading. But man, for this being a winter fragrance, this thing is perfect, bro. This thing is perfect. The performance is there. The scent is there. Whew, man, this stuff is good, man. I, I don't even know how to take I mean, it just, just imagine the Molly Parfum. Cause you can still literally smell the lavender. Just imagine the Molly Parfum, the lavender and the mint, with just some honey on top, and it just makes it so like seductive and like, oh my god, this stuff is so good, bro. So so good. So I definitely say the price is definitely dropping on this. I think you can get like a 75 mil for like a hundred dollars right now. I haven't even checked discounters in second hand, but this stuff is great value in my opinion. It's not even the most expensive thing in the world. It is a designer scent, so it's designer prices. You would think that something that won the uh, fragrance of the year award would be like expensive and niche. No, it's just JPG Lamal Elixir. And this stuff is really, really good for what it is, man. I have no, I have nothing bad to say about it. Like this is a fragrance where I have nothing bad to say. This thing does what it's supposed to do. It smells great. It's a great gift for a, a guy that's looking for something to wear in the winter time, in the fall time, nighttime life. You're gonna get a lot of good uh, things about said about this one, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, yeah, 9.5 out of 10 fragrance for me, man. Really, really good stuff from JPG. Really, really good stuff. So I definitely think it's worth the hype. If y'all want more, if y'all have this fragrance actually, let me know what y'all think about it down below, man. I appreciate y'all as always. Y'all stay blessed. Love y'all. Peace.